everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we are going to be making two versions of a coaster and I'm going to call it Birds of a Feather. I'm going to be using the same stickers that I used when I made these little pendants, these little stones, and they're the outline stickers. And I'll have all kinds of information over on my website, craftclutch.com, um, with written directions and everything else. But this is what they are, and the maker of these is Starform. And I've already prepared my resin, and I'm using the Easy Cast. You can use the Envirotex Light. Either one would work fine. And I think I'm going to do two coasters. I think I have enough resin for that. It's technically still fall, even though it's very cold here. And I thought it was really cute. You know, birds of a feather flock together, and then they fly away down south. Well, these birds on here are really cute and look like they're flocking together. So we're going to kind of go with that whole theme. And I want it to kind of be a grayish bluish sky in the background. <clears throat> so I'm going to use some pigment powder. And I have this pearly white. I'm going to put some of that in there as the base. Mix that in. So it's this really pretty pearly white. Now I'm going to use just a hint of this gray and it's pretty dark so I just want a little bit and I'll mix it in and see how how it starts coming together I'm doing a little bit at a time because you obviously can't remove it once it's in there you can always put more in but you can't take it out now I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of the blue. Okay, now I'm going to just pour these in. This is going to be our background, so we'll just let it spread around, settle in. I'm going to let this just sit for a couple minutes, let the bubbles rise to the pop to the top, and then I will take my lighter and run it over to pop any bubbles. And then I'll let it sit for 12 hours. I'll come back and I will show you the technique we're going to use on the birds. But I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and I don't want it to be a gold outline. This is going to be a little bit more of a silhouette kind of a thing. I'm going to color right over the marker while it's still on the sheet. I'm going to be careful not to color on the next marker or on the next sticker and ruin that one. So it looks like this. We'll just let it dry. The marker has dried, and now I'm just going to carefully pull this up. And now instead of a gold sticker, we have a black one. I'm going to try to carefully place this over too far to the right so you never want to press down until you know you have it where you want it. I don't want to put fingerprints on here but I don't want to be too rough with it either so I'm putting a glove on my finger or on my hand and then with the finger I'm just gonna my finger I'm just going to go ahead and make sure it's down. So for this one I am gonna go with a silhouette you can do it any way you like but I'm just gonna take my Sharpie marker and carefully color everything in so we have a silhouette. Here they are silhouettes. I'm going to do another coat in spots where they're splotchy. For this one I did the same thing and colored it with the Sharpie marker, peeling it off and I'm just going to leave this as an outline. I'm going to carefully rub it down with my gloved finger so I don't leave any fingerprints. Now before I pour my resin, what I need to do is put a layer on here, a protective layer, because I have noticed in some projects past that the resin will make um, a Sharpie marker bleed just a little bit. And I don't want that. I would like it to be as smear free as possible and as crisp as possible. I'm using super gloss Mod Podge because that goes on about as clear as can be. Now on this one I did add 
I had these little black stickers. Well, they weren't black, they were silver, and I colored them with the marker and put them on there like they're circling because they want to come and join the rest of them. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to put a thin layer over everything just to seal it all. And that will prevent the Sharpie from running. Now you do want to let this dry completely because otherwise you'll always have a little bit of a film or a cloudy spot. So you can let it dry overnight if you want, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm just putting it over the whole thing just to give it a little consistency. So even on the parts that don't have a sticker on there, any marker on there, I'm putting it over anyway. I prepared more resin and this stuff has completely dried. And I just need a thin coat over it. I'll take my lighter, run it over so that I can pop the bubbles. The coasters have cured. And here they are unmolded. Here's the silhouette where I added the other little stickers behind there. And here's the one with the outlines. I'd love to know which one you like better if you could leave it in the comments below. Thanks for commenting and liking this video. We'll definitely see you next time. Happy crafting! Mm -hmm.